Here's a look at Acrocomia crispa in its native range in Hogeem Province, Cuba, but these are cultivated as you can see. It's on a resort property. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and catch these here in case I don't see any in the C2. And I'm uh, saying that they're crispa versus aculeata because for me the belly, the swelling of the trunk um, gives that away. Uh, aculeata also occurs in this area. I don't know Holguin specifically, but in Cuba it's a native, uh, as is crispa. So I wanted to just go ahead and show these. These have some maturing fruit uh, clumps on them. I'll get up a little closer here. There's some there that are starting to color up a little bit. And as they mature, they tend to lose their spines. This little one right here, large juveniles covered with spines. You gotta wonder what happened there. If that was a hurricane or a dry spell or something like that. So I'm in Gardalavaca, Hogin Province, Cuba, taking an opportunity to document uh, Acrocomia crispa. If I see any in their native uh, environs, I'll go ahead and make a amendment to this video. I'm going out on a plant safari today, so we'll see what happens. Here's an Acrocomia crispa, um, a little more in its habitat than, uh, than the ones that I filmed at the resort. So uh, it's still occurring along a roadside in some somewhat disturbed area, uh, but I would uh, reason that it's, it's naturally sourced because there are Acrocomia growing further into the brush here, into the bush. And so uh, for the sake of not having to crawl into the bush, I will show this one and we'll call it a uh, uh, palm in habitat in C2, however you want to uh, call that. We'll go to the base and see if there's any seedlings. There are some seeds hanging off the side there, much like the ones that were at the resort. I imagine they'll all be coming in right pretty soon, but I don't see any babies. Must be really hard to get them established. Nothing, nothing uh, underneath the parent. So, Acrocomia crispa, used to be called Gastrococcus when I first started collecting palms. No spines left on this one, which is good.